Let's learn about the birds and the bees, and let's add custom baby entities to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding custom baby entities to Minecraft. Now, I've already teased this before, so in our raccoon entity that we've added, we have this method, um, should be right around uh, somewhere, <laughs> I guess. Um, let's see, right here, it's actually very at the top. It's actually almost at the top, there you go. The create child method. So here what we want to do is we want to basically just return mod entities dot raccoon dot create and then passing in the world parameter right here. We also need to override one more method and that is the is breeding item method. And here we can basically, well, you know, put in to what item we want to right click this entity with and then it's going to be in breeding mode, so to speak. So we're going to say dot uh, stack dot get item actually get item and then equals equals mod items dot and then we're going to say grape so in this case if we right click this particular entity with a grape then it's going to be well able to be you know proceed to go into the breeding mode so to speak now what's also very interesting is that what i want to do is i actually want to make it so that um right here in the interact mod method if we actually have the item in our hand so if item is equal to is actually we can do is breeding item and then pass in the item stack right here uh, item stack there you go that should work and then what i want to do is i actually immediately want to just return super dot interact mob player and hand now the reason i want to do this is so that none of the rest here uh, happens so otherwise there's like some weirdness there might be some weirdness with you know still setting it to sit stuff like that this is just why i have this this is just a sanity check so that if we are clicking with the breeding item right with the grape in this case then it doesn't you know sit down and stuff like that we also need to add a new goal right here that is going to be at the very bottom this is going to be this target selector dot add and that's going to be one priority one new animal mate goal with this and then a chance of let's say 1d so this should be 100% if I'm not mistaken uh, I'm not actually 100% sure whether there's a chance I don't know if the um, animal mate goal actually ever oh there actually is only an 80% chance for the ocelots to uh, mate and then same with a cat interesting I didn't even know that but yeah that's pretty much it I mean we can also just do uh, one I guess 1.0 has to be like this and then also the closing parentheses there you go so this should work totally fine and then last but not least, we actually also want another thing, and that's in the model. And this is going to be actually really freaking awesome. Uh, sorry, that's not in the model, actually. It's in the renderer. There you go. It's in the renderer. And that is really freaking awesome because in the renderer, we can overwrite a certain method, and that's going to be the get render type method right here for this render layer. And this is really awesome. So what we can basically do is, if I just, you know, make this a little bit more readable. So there you go. And what we can basically do is we can say, hey, if animatable dot is baby. Yeah. And then we can change some stuff. And then if it's not, then we can also change some stuff. So the idea is that what we're going to do is we're going to scale the actual model based on whether or not it's a baby or not. So we're going to say stack. So this is the matrix stack. So this is the, you know, let's just say that this is sort of, it has to do with the rendering. And this is, is this thing that we can scale. So we can say scale and then for example, 0 0.5, 0 0.5F and 0.5F. And now it's going to be half the size of the normal entity. Let's just copy this over here, select it, control C, control V to paste in, and then this is going to be one. So we basically have, you know, 100% scaling um, on the normal one if it's not a baby. And if it is a baby, then we're just going to reduce its size by half, basically. So that's really freaking awesome and really freaking cool. So this is pretty much all that we need to do for the baby entity. It's not very complicated. However, there are, you know, one or two things that are very interesting here especially uh, the adding of this one right here just so that you know the stuff doesn't you know get out of hand so to speak but the rest is pretty much all that we need to do so i guess let's join the world and see if it works all right we found ourselves back in minecraft so let's just get two uh, raccoons here right click with the grape and there we go one of them ah oh, don't go back man man just leave it here let's just try this again they should find each other there you go and there we have it a baby entity all smaller so that's really freaking awesome and we should also be able to right click it uh you know with a if you actually right click with a small neck onto the already existing one then you can also spawn baby entities you can see it there you go so there's a couple of them there as well so that's really freaking awesome and i mean yeah that's actually how easy it is to add some custom baby entities to minecraft
Right, and that already concludes this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.